Oh my god. That's right guys, we are back on the Forza series after nearly a month. Uh, starting off with a fantastic example of an unflawed PR system, as we have a massive crash on the start line. Um, if you want me to continue this series, let me know by leaving a like and comment on this video. We're going to aim for about 800 likes and hopefully we don't see too many more clips like this, but of course because it's number 10 we will. Uh, but next up, we have got Jagged, and he's cocked up the chicane there, but that's not the incident in question here. So, he's going to recover. He's lost a bunch of places. He's going to make up quite a few of those. But I've got a bit of a quiz for you guys. Uh, so, he's going to overtake this BAC Mono. Now, what happens if you force four cars into the space of one? Well, you end up with that happening. Cars getting punted off. KTM's flying in the air, and Jagger getting away with it. And next up at 8, we've got Snooty for the first of two times on Hockenheim today. He's, I mean, this is a great strategy actually. Just pull over, let everyone else embarrass themselves, and have crashes before the start finish line even comes up. And then next up at 7, we've got Rainbow Trouts with someone else who should be embarrassed, this F1 car. As usual, in these open track days, they are just the dirtiest fellows known to man. So he's trying his best to ram him, and we've got to give it to him, you know, credit where it's due. He is not lacking determination, uh, if only he used it in a better place, but he is lacking vision because he's going to crash straight into that tie wall there and that's the end of him. And then next up at 6, starting a Catalonia National. Uh, the fact that I said Catalonia National means you should know what's about to happen. We got a crash before the start finish line even begun, begins again. And then we got Spence sort of missing his braking zone. That uh, Civic saved him a bit there. And even clowns are a bit disappointed by that one. And then next up at 5, we've got Farhan and it's uh, Rio Mini again. Just because of the fact that I said Rio Mini, you know it's coming. Uh, we got, well, 16 out of 18 cars crashing off basically. He's up into second place. And then next up at 4, we've got Scorpio. Now this chap has run wide on his own volition. He's off the racing line, so you can't expect Scorpio to give him any room to rejoin. But that has absolutely ticked him off there because uh, he's going to go for a brake check here. Cause a bit of damage on Scorpio's car and also cause himself to be forced wide and lose the position. So well done on that one. And then coming to the final corner, he's still angry because he went off the track and couldn't rejoin. And now he's gone off the track and definitely won't be rejoining. And then next up, we have got UNSCM Chapov doing an open track day. There's a couple. Uh, class cars here and they're actually being fairly clean when it comes to this clip they are the clean ones so we've got this civic there who's not clean i mean really fighting against thunder trying to ram them and crashing into the tire wall in his efforts to do so that was a dismal failure and then next up at two we have got snooty once again doing the same combo we've already got a lot of smoke going on here it is of course replay smoke but we've also got real smoke because guys are crashing off i mean the guys just rolled it before the corner even came up. This is ridiculous. There's just so many cars going off. And the Forza should just be ashamed that this is the community it has bred by making the games that it has. And uh, we're not done because someone else has crashed off into a tire wall there on his own volition too. And Snooty has done nothing and got up into fourth place. And then at one, we've got Sinister Hybrid. At Monza, once again, because it's Monza, you know what's about to happen. But you don't know the scale of what's about to happen. So into the braking zone, he's in fifth place. Not going to be in fifth for long because the rest of the lobby is going to forget that there's a chicane here. So into some bonus clips, but before we get into those, if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to leave a comment, want to go ahead and join the engagement gang like the guys on screen right now. And if you're new on here, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. But first up, we've got Dragon Lives. This one, uh, you're going to want to pay attention to the mirrors. I will zoom in, don't worry. So we've got these two trucks here. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Uh, and I don't even know which car it was. So let's have a look there. We're going to have a car just flying across the top there. Don't know quite how that happened, but it did. And then we've got Fresh. And the example of idiocy here is the ghosting system, or lack thereof, really. Because if we watch that Subaru, he's going to end up on his roof. And that hasn't forced him to be ghosted. The very simple fact that he's heading vaguely in the right direction means he's not ghost, and that is how simple the, the system is in Forza Motorsport. And then this would have made number one on both countdowns, but because GTA is not. The celebration there, not even for the win, he's going to end up in the ocean. 
guaranteeing that he probably doesn't get second place. So thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, go leave a like. If you're on show, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much to my patrons. Whose names you're seeing on screen right now. If you'd like to join them and get access to videos early, the link is in the description. And I will see you guys in my next video.